Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Right. So let's uh, start the show. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to AFCAS Tenerife Afternoons. It's Sunday, the 4th of April, 2021, and I'm your host, Tim Dowd. On today's show, I'm going to look back at the last few days of weather. Take you on the latest COVID information. Have a quick look at Janet Anscombe's website. see what's been going on on the government website. Don't forget to join us and like the podcast or download or favorite it. And if you like what you see or what you hear, you can join us on YouTube too. That's youtube.com slash LWMST. There's going to be plenty of weather in the next few days, as they say. It's been really weird the last four days. It's been cloudy in the mornings and then the sun comes out. Or maybe it didn't. But it's been quite warm, low 20s. In the sun today, it was 32. And we were down in Fanny Bay at the Fanny Bay Plaza. I was actually uh, with Christina as a guest on the Crackmasters channel. If you don't subscribe to the Crackmaster, go to the Crackmaster Daniel Ewing and check him there. That's on YouTube. They're promising the same sort of spring-like weather for the next few days and we're just chilling out. That was your weather for today, Sunday the 4th of April 2021. Got to get the COVID latest. It's 14.38, so I might get it today. But uh, it updates at 2 o'clock, but the website probably doesn't update till about 3. Still checking. Whilst we're waiting, I uh, had a great time with Daniel and Sahar. So if you're watching, thanks very much. It was really good fun. And the breakfast was to die for. I mean, the smoothies were really good. They weren't as sweet as I expected them to be. And I had a banana, coconut, and pineapple, uh, like a pina colada type thing, but with no alcohol. And uh, they brought out, for 7 50 they brought out, I thought it was going to be like two little tapas, but it was actually quite a piece of piece of bread each. And it was beautiful. There was avocado and radish and walnuts on one. There was um, a poached egg and bacon on the other one. Then we had smoked salmon with um, some sort of, soft cheese, halloumi and uh, eggplant and I can't remember what the other one was. It was really good. It was really good. So this isn't updating very well. I don't know why but uh, I've got internet connection but it's still from yesterday actually. So I don't know why. Let's have a quick look. 4670. That's not good. That was higher than last time we looked. So let's have a look at the uh, Tenerife one. So let's see if, uh, who I'm connected to. I've got to look at the connections here because I've got two Wi Fi's. One's running this system and one's running the old system. And I'm on this system, so that's good. Unless, of course, it ain't. We'll see. Gravcan One Maps Arakis.com. Yeah, so uh, uncut versions are always sort of a, a bit of a not a problem, but 
there's no flow to it. But I think you'll quite like that. A lot of people have said they prefer the uncut versions. So let me know if you do prefer the uncut version. I know the podcast won't actually work like that because they can't see my expression on my face. They can't look behind me. Oh, you can't even look behind me. I've got a solo of this. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful view there. So uh, we'll talk about that. Blue skies. The sea is quite calm today and very blue. There's people in the pool. So uh, there are definitely people here on vacation or holiday. Uh, we're still on the 3rd of April here. So it's uh, it's just not updating, unfortunately. Oh, dear, 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 dear. So I can't give you the COVID up to now, so I'll do that later. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, jump up to Janet Anscombe. Well, it could be that I'm on, my, I'm on the wrong thing here. Uh, Janet, my mini iPad's giving up the ghost, as they say. I'm on iced tea. It's uh, Melicaton Zero. Melicaton is like an apricot. No, not an apricot. What's it called? What's the other thing called? A peach? No. What the hell's Melicaton? Yeah, sort of apricot. Apricot type thing. Okay. Let's go over to Janet and do that. So let's get the. I've lost that now. Go to the music. Now let's go over to JanetAnscombe.com and see the headlines there. Well, she's leading with the headline here, Living with COVID, which is a standard article that she writes and adds to it. And the headline there is, Police and councils condemn public irresponsibility over Easter, including a boxing match on Adehi Beach. So it gives you all the canaries under regional restrictions and gives you all the details at the beginning. And uh, what the enter, um, the rules for entering Tenerife, which I'll actually come back to that later. And here's the update for April the 4th. There's a pretty good chance, it seems to me, of case numbers rising substantially enough to warrant Tenerife at least going to level four after the Easter break. I phrase it like that because it does seem to be what people want, given that they are simply will not stop behaving in ways that violate any number of health emergency measures. Anyway, as police throughout Tenerife have had to break up various parties, often in the out of the way Fincas, in a decade at least, the violation was anything but secret. The police have condemned a public boxing bout on a beach in the municipal, watched by a group of people who were maskless right next to each other. A video of the fight has been posted several times on social media, as below from Sur de Tenerife. The Ayuntamiento has reminded the public that Tenerife is in level three, a very high number of cases in the Deje Municipal specifically, and called for public responsibility even though it is a special time of year. I go out of my way normally not to criticise or to undermine the authorities, but maybe council should just once and for all fully support their municipal forces and train or provision them adequately and ensure that they can get the backup they need from the Nationals and the Garda Civil to police such incidents properly. No amount of posturing or carefully worded statements about taking care of others, deploring violent sports or the borough's tourist image is going to have any effect if the authorities don't do anything more. The need to act, not just pay lip service to their concerns about intensive care unit occupancy, virtue signalling is not and cannot be the answer. So there was a yeah, massive uh, boxing match on the beach. Loads of people watching, not wearing masks, mostly youngsters here. Um, but basically, they're just going to bring us into into level four. You know, it's... Uh, it's practically inevitable now unfortunately so uh whilst we're on this um the people were saying today on on the you know there's a new traffic light system for going abroad so we can all nip over to tenerife 
And the British um, Prime Minister, I believe, has put in a traffic light system and a time frame of when people can go abroad. But that doesn't mean that they can enter the foreign country. So the British can only um, depict when you can leave and you have to check with the country you want to visit to find out whether you satisfy the entry requirements. And the entry requirements for Spain and for Tenerife specifically at the moment, Spain has improved various border restrictions for those trying to enter the country. Sometimes arrivals direct by air, sea are banned. Sometimes just air arrivals. Other times there are land border restrictions for arrivals by road. Check your means and route of travel are permitted. Most countries will have their own official government website for advice about the travel in various countries. For example, here is the UK's FCDO for travel advice concerning Spain. So you can go to your own FCDO website in the UK and have a look about travel advice for Spain. All visitors must have previously completed a passenger locator form, digital or paper, English or Spanish, and there's a link there, and their personal details, including where they will be staying in Spain, uh, for national le that's the national legislation. So all visitors to Spain from high-risk countries, regardless of where they're staying, must have a PCR, TM TMA or LAMP test before they fly. Uh, for arrivals in the Canaries from other parts of Spain, antigen tests are accepted. Residents of the Canaries returning home will have the test cost reimbursed, a measure already extended more than once and currently in place until the 5th of April. Um, in addition, anyone including residents checking into any regulated tourist accommodation in the Canaries hotels, apartment or complexes with receptions, rural hosts, etc. must present a certificate showing a negative test result. This can be an antigen test, but if arriving from outside the Canaries with a PCR test result, evidently this can also be used for checking into the accommodation, provided it is no more than 72 hours old. Canarian residents can sign a formal declaration instead if they haven't left the islands for at least a fortnight prior to checking in time. Uh, those checking in our regulated tourist accommodation will also be required to download and track and trace radar app, and that is the Canarian registration. If we go to the FCDO website now from the UK, so this is updated on the 2nd of April, but still current at the 4th of April, which is today, and entry requirements page. So this is from the Gov UK, showing you the entry requirements for Spain. The information on this page covers the most common types of travel and reflects the UK government's understanding of the rules currently in place unless otherwise stated. This information is for travellers for full British citizen passports. So entry to Spain. Spain's borders are open to European Union and Schengen area countries. However, certain entry restrictions and testing requirements are currently in force for travel to Spain. Some restrictions on travellers from outside the European Union and the Schengen free, travel free area remain in place. You should revert to the Spanish embassy in the country you want for further advice. So they're saying that uh, the mandatory pre travel, the um, testing requirements, preparing for arrival, Additional requirements for UK national residents in Spain. So that means you can, you're can you only allowed in if you're a resident. And permitted reasons to enter Spain are if you are a habitual resident of the European Union, holders of long-stay visa, health professionals, transport personnel, diplomats and consular and international organisations, students for studying, highly skilled essential workers and people travelling for imperative family reasons who can demonstrate an essential need to travel. For further information, see the relevant legislation. And each one of those things will be decided by the person you talk to when you arrive in Spain. So at the moment, from outside are the EU. Habitual residents, so if you live here, you can come home. Holders of long-stay visas, health professionals, transport personnel, diplomats, students, highly skilled essential workers who cannot, uh, who cannot postpone their work and people travelling for family reasons. I assume that's sort of births and deaths. So yeah, it doesn't matter um, that you're allowed to leave the UK at the moment and until the 30th of April anyway at least. Um, these rules are still in place but that has been extended and extended since last year. And it didn't change 
funny enough, it was always like this. It's just that Britain now is classed as outside the EU since the 1st of the 1st because the transition period ended. So last year when you were coming over and doing all the testing and stuff, you were still classed as being inside the EU, and now you're not. So uh, that's the difference. So the rules haven't changed. Um, the, the situation of people in the UK have changed, has changed. Okay, so I'd like to thank Jenna Anscombe for all the information there. And uh, if you want to know more, go to jennaanscombe.com. I'm going to see if the uh, COVID website is any better now. Living with COVID, entry requirements, COVID-19, here we go. So, yeah, um, as I said, it's, it's really weird. The law's been in place a long time and it just changed on the first of the first obviously nobody worried about that then because you were in lockdown anyway but as the lockdown comes out and you start deciding for yourselves where you'll be able to go and the government says you know uh, this traffic light thing then uh, you still have to go to the country you want to go to and find out whether you uh, are able to enter the country well no it's it's still very slow so it's probably sunday they probably turned off turned it off for Sunday, so I can't do COVID today. And I've just looked on the uh, government website, which is also slow. That's a beautiful clouds up there now. Oh. European funds. Have approved, been approved. Sanidad registers 110 cases of COVID in the last 24 hours. The government constructs buildings to maximum security for essential services. And Las Cámaras de Comercio Empresarial Pagar, Las Primeras Ayudas para Pymes. Pymes, I used to know what that meant, I don't anymore. The Autonomous, the Gobierno de Canarias. I don't know what that means. Uh, and Hacienda Acuerdo del Mercado Privado para Filipinas. Okay, so the Hacienda, which is like the tax uh, inland revenue here, is uh, 1.184 million of debt in this year to re refin refinancing debt. So if you want to go and see any of those, and you've got one of those smart um, uh, browsers on your phone or your tablet or your computer, you can translate that to your language, hopefully. If it's English, it's there. I think German's there as well. But uh, Or if you speak Spanish, of course. That's quite good. Some interesting uh, stuff there. More local, not for, not for tourists really, but some more local news for residents and stuff. And uh, citizens. But yeah, that's interesting. So uh, I'm not going to put music on that now. I'll put the music on the podcast afterwards when I've cut it all up, all the, all the stuff bits. Um... I did the webby thing on Friday, you saw that, and I've uploaded that as a, as its standalone. So if you want to go and see the webby interview uninterrupted, that's up on, on uh, our channel now. Tomorrow is Leader Hosen update. Spoiler alert, I'm having leg of lamb this afternoon, so uh, or the early evening, so my belly's going to be bloated. So I probably won't fit, but I'm too fat for them anyway. But tomorrow morning... Monday morning, the 5th of April 2021, I'm going to start my walking regimen at 8 o'clock. So I've been going out at 9, 9.30, but that's been too late. So I'm going to go at 8 o'clock in the morning, which in real money is 7 o'clock, because the clock went forward. So the sun won't even be up then. Uh, it'll be light, but the sun won't come over the mountain for a couple of minutes after I'm gone. I'm going to take a camera tomorrow, so you'll be able to see little bits of that uh, tomorrow night at 5.55. Don't be late. Um, what else? Balcony banter this week is also outside, but we haven't picked a spot yet. Um, if you want to see something, uh, where we could go, uh, have a look online to see if they're open and suggest either in the comments of this or send me a an email to timothydow.com. You can actually send it to me at timothydow.com or if you go to www.timothydow.com you can press the button and it'll send it an email to me at timothydow.com. Uh, Juliani put a, another hiking video up for Rock del Conde which is the, the big mountain up there 
and uh, for all your needs of moving to Spain or living in Spain, especially Tenerife, you can go to JanetAnston.com. All right, so let's do the uh, the final thing now. So where are we gonna go? There we go, music. Da -da 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 -da. We're not gonna do COVID, we're gonna do small town bliss. <laughs> I'd like to thank each and every one of you for listening today. Thanks for watching if you're on YouTube. We do have a YouTube channel called LWMST and we have a Facebook uh, page, LWMST, and we also post pictures to Instagram. The Instagram is a bit longer, it's called Living with MS Tenerife. We also post to Twitter. If you're Twitterers, our handle there is LWMS Tenerife. And of course, you can always go to TimothyDowd.com. Send me a message, learn how to sponsor the channel, search the blogs. Or even join me live Monday to Friday at 5.55. So you all have a good day now. That's it for the uncut. Sorry that I didn't have any COVID details for you, but it was going up and obviously they're expecting it to rise because of the irresponsibility of the people here. And um, especially the youngsters, I've noticed that as well. They don't, they seem to think they're, what's the word, immortal. So anyway, um, I'm going to finish this off now by doing this. Google thinks that you might like to see this one next. And if you press the little square button there with our wedding photograph, uh, it'll take you to see how you can sponsor the channel. And the little round button there with our ugly mushies in are uh, if you want to subscribe to the channel. We'll see you. Bye.